In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to utilize the Training Builder's templates in creating interactions for a large number of objects within VR. From the SimLab Academy in the bottom panel, select VR, then select Templates to access the materials we will be using throughout this tutorial. The first item runs the tutorial video, so let's move to the first step and load the environment. This is a 3D environment of a convenience store, and we're going to use it as the scenery for this experience. Go to the second step and import the fridge model. Press N on the keyboard then click on the ground to snap it to its level, then rotate and position the newly imported fridge next to the other fridge in the scene. As you can see the fridge is filled with dairy products of different types. If you were to select one of the items in the fridge, you will notice that it has some attributes listed within it. It has a brand, a price, a product name, a type, and a weight attribute, and each type of product has different values for each of those attributes, making them unique to their type. Import the cart model from the SimLab Academy and position it near the fridge in the scene. The experience we're going to create is to allow the user to fill the cart with items from the fridge in VR, and to achieve that, we will resort to using templates. There's a monitor attached to the cart which we will utilize later in the tutorial, but for now, let's stick to the first task and have the user stack items in the cart. Open the Training Builder. In the Training Builder, click on the Create Template button. Notice that a new tab has been created in addition to the existing tabs, and within this tab is the Template node. Click on Edit. The Template node uses a query to identify objects instead of manually attaching them to the node. This could prove to be useful when dealing with a large number of objects in the scene, and in our case, a large number of dairy products. In the combo box to the left, you can change the type of query from name to attribute name or to attribute value. And as we saw earlier, the items we are going to use has a few shared attributes that we can use to identify them. Select the attribute name and have it set to contains, then type in the value product. You can click preview to select the objects matching the query in the 3D area, just to make sure we are on the right track. As you can see, all the products in the fridge has been selected ensuring that the query we used was OK. The next thing that we need to do is to make the products grabbable. We can either use the preview tool to select the objects, then from the interactions menu, select make grabbable, or we can use a response to make those objects grabbable. In the training builder, add a change grabbable state response and attach the template node to it, then set the grab enabled option to true. Now we need an event to trigger this response. Add a scene start event and attach it to the response. The scene start event will trigger the grabbable state response once the VR experience starts, making all the objects matching the query grabbable. Now we need to set up the system that would allow us to fill the cart with the grabbable products. The goal is to have the products be placed in the cart when the user lets go of them above the cart. Add a grab ended event then attach the template node to it. Now add a fall to surface response and attach it to the grab ended event, then attach the template node to it. Since objects usually get rotated while being held, and we need to have their orientation fixed while stacked, we are going to use the reset rotation response. Attach the response to the event and attach the node template to the response. The system that we have so far enables the grabbing of products at the start of the VR experience, and when one of the product's grabbing ends, it will have its orientation reset and fall downwards to the first surface underneath it. Go to the SimLab VR Viewer menu and select Show in VR to test out the progress so far. Be sure to place the starting position at a spot near the fridge, then click the check mark to start the VR experience.
Notice that when you press the side button on the controller, all the objects in the fridge get highlighted, indicating that they are grabbable. Hold an object using the trigger button and release it over the cart to place it inside the cart. This behavior is not exclusive to the cart, so the user can place the object on any surface in the scene. Go back to SimLab Composer, and let's take this tutorial one step further. We have a monitor on the cart, and we want it to display the info of the product being held. To do that, we're going to have a variable writer display the attributes of the product. From the Visual Effects menu, select Create Variable Writer. Rotate and place the variable writer on the cart's monitor. Using Ctrl and C on the keyboard, duplicate the writer three more times to have a total of four variable writers in the scene. Select the first variable writer and open the variable writer tab in the right panel. Here you can specify a prefix for the variable writer and assign a variable to this writer to show its value. Type in product as the prefix. Let's leave the color to black for now and let's set the max string size to 30. We also are going to leave the group number to 1 and have all the variable writers in the same group to have a matching font size. Let us now create a variable to attach it to the writer. Open the training builder. Click on the variables list button, then click on add variable. Name the variable product and keep its type to string. SimLab Composer has automatically attached this variable to the writer since it's the only variable available in the scene. Now we need this variable to have the product name of the object being used. To do so, add a get attribute response. The get attribute response reads an attribute from an object and writes it into a variable which then we can display using the variable writer. Attach the template node to the get attribute response, and for the attribute name, select product, which is the attribute we're going to get from the object, and for the variable, select the variable we just created that is named product as well. Now we need an event to trigger the get attribute response. We can set it to grabbing, but it would look better to use the smart card for this task. If you were to click right under the monitor you're going to pick an invisible object that has its alpha set to zero. We're going to use this object as a scanner, which when a product intersects it, the attribute is red and the product variable changes. To do so, create a node entered node event and set the first object as the sensor and connect the template node as the second object. Now attach the node entered node event to the get attribute response. Run the VR experience to test it out. Let's create more variables to display more info on the monitor. In the training builder open the variables list. Add a variable and name it brand. 
Add another variable and name it unit price and change its type to number. Add one more variable and name it total price and set its type to number as well. Now add another get attribute response and attach it to the event and attach the template node to it. Set the attribute name to brand and the variable to brand as well. Add a third get attribute response and attach it to the event and the template node. Set the attribute name to price USD and the variable to unit price. The last thing we need to display is the total price. The total price is calculated by adding unit price variables for all the products. Create a change variable value response and attach it to the price attribute response to calculate it after reading the unit's price. Set the variable to total price and in the value field, type in total price plus unit price. Close the training builder and let's assign the variables to the variable writers. Select the second variable writer and assign the brand variable to it, and in the prefix, type in brand. Select the third writer and set its variable to unit price and type the prefix price. Make sure that all the variable writers have the same maximum string for good practice. Set the last variable writer to total price and type the prefix, total price. Feel free to change the font color for the variable writers, for this example I'm setting the font color to green, then I'm changing the monitor color to black instead of white. The last thing that we are going to do is to add a sound effect whenever we scan an object, as you can see the cart comes with a sound node, and we can play this sound when the event occurs. Open the training builder, and near the node entered node event, add a play sound response. Attach the sound from the scene to it and set it to play, then attach it to the event. From the SimLab VR Viewer menu select, Show in Viewer to run the VR experience. Combining the use of templates with attributes enables you to create interactions for a large number of objects with a very little number of nodes, saving you the time and effort and resulting in an astonishing interactive VR experience.